Okay, today we're going to be doing this um, solid geometry, 6-8 in the HSE textbook. Um, they've given you a auxiliary view of this hexagonal prism. Um, and the first thing that we need to do is obviously to number it. Um, I'm just going to flap that over and you guys can just see these numbers. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see those numbers. And I would suggest that you try and get those numbers exactly like this, just to help you through getting this stuff right. I'm going to start out. I'm going to say, I'm going to name that point number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And those numbers I'm going to place down on this hexagonal uh, base over here. Number one, two, three is in line with number two, four is in line with number one, five, and six, they are in line with each other as well. Right, number seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, there they are, number seven, above number one, there's number one, there's number seven, there's number seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And then I also have the cutting plane that I've labeled. I've got point A over there, point B over there, point C over there, point D over there, and now I want you to look very carefully at where E is. Can you see where the cutting plane is cutting through that top surface over there? Number E, if you take a line out parallel to these sides over here of this hexagonal prism, take it out at that 60 degrees. Let me just show that to you. There it is, 60 degrees going out and you'll have an intersection over there and an intersection over there. I've labeled that one E and I've labeled that one F. Put a little line going across there. And what you can do, um, you don't need to do this, but it's, it's sometimes useful, is actually just physically hatch that area. You really don't need to do this, but it just gives you that idea of your cutting plane being shown on this view as well. And it helps you just to see where that cutting plane actually is on the object. Right, that would be as if I had taken that part away and you are able to see, um, or taken, a, taken actually that part away, and you'd be able to see that over there. All right, never. Right, the very first thing that they have asked you to do is to do a sectional um, left view, right view, and top view. Right, I'm going to just minimize this a bit, and we can begin. All right. Just get this in the right space, there we go. Okay, we need to draw these x, y axes. Please place an x, y axis right along that edge over there. You need to have an x, y axis for getting your left view. You need an x, y axis for getting your right view and you obviously need that x, y axis that they gave to you where it was actually touching down on the base over there, an x, y axis in order to get your top view. Right, let's have a look at getting the points placed. Um, now, what you need to do is you need to get your cutting plane. I always start by drawing the cutting plane in the views that I need it. Um, I use a pair of compasses that I can set to the distances. Um, if I've got three views and they all have the same distance, um, it's silly trying to do it with a pair of compasses because you want to work accurately. Get number one. There's the distance from the x-y axis to one. And now I'll come over here. Uh, not, not one, sorry. Let's do A. It's a cutting plane that we're doing. It is distance from x-y axis to A. I go to A over there. I take it across to my left view. I place it down over there. I label it as A. I do the same thing for the right view. Label that as A. I do for the top view. A. Note, I'm measuring once to get the distance for A. Same story for B. Go to B, get the distance, find B, go down to the top view and label it as B. Go to the right view and label it as B. Go to the left view and label it as B. 
measure of C. There is C. I'm going to find C, take it across to the left view, mark it off as C. Find C in the top view, mark it off as C. Take it across to the right view, mark it off as C. Let's go to D. Right, there's D. Find D, take it across, mark it off as D. Go to the left view, mark it off as D. Go to the top view, mark it off as D. Right, um, E, same story, take it from the XY axis to E. Find E over here, take it across, mark it off as E. Go across to the right view, mark it off as E. Go to the top view, mark it off as E. Get F. Let's go in there, find F. Take it across to the left view, Mark it off as F. Take it across to the right view. And we have F. Take it across down to the top view. There we go, and we've got F. Right, once you've done that, just draw that in. You know that in each of these views, you need to see the cutting plane. So A to F. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to F. Straight away, I've drawn the cutting plane in for all of these views. There we go. Let's link those up. Right, and then obviously we know that each of those is hatched, so you can get going and you can do the hatching. I'm not going to do all of the hatching, but just a little bit to get you guys going. There we go on that one. Same story over here, a little bit on there, and you go all the way across, and the same story over here, hatching going across. And the next video I do, you will see that the, the surfaces have been completely hatched. Right, I'll do video two now.